before I dive into the new features and functionality of the new version, I wanted to briefly uh, remind everyone who the CorelDRAW users are around the world. Currently, there are about 15 million, over 15 million active users of CorelDRAW Graphics Suite around the world. Uh, there are really two broad categories of users. The first one is what we internally call the graphics professionals. There are either creative professionals, freelancers, and create brochures, flyers, logos, designs of, uh, with a CorelDRAW graphics suite, as well as production-oriented designers, such as sign makers, engravers, etc. So these are people who will create car wraps, billboards, uh, special quality designs, etc. CorelDRAW Graphics Suite is actually the leading graphics application in the production industries uh, uh, for uh, worldwide. Fashion and garment decoration designers use CorelDRAW Graphics Suite extensively, uh, as well as in the embroidery world. And then a big group of users for us are also illustrators and fine artists, creating some amazing pieces of art. Overall, graphics professionals use the software for over five hours a day. It is their main tool for for their business, and it's a very important tool for their revenue stream. On the other spectra side of the spectrum are occasional graphics users, users who use CorelDRAW Graphics Suite for less than five hours a week. They're in sales and marketing in small and medium-sized businesses. Uh, they want to do, for example, a very quick offer and promotion for their shop, their local business uh, for the weekend. They can make the graphical change on their flyer very quickly, print it locally, a thousand copies, distribute it for the weekend offer and promotion. Also, office users and enterprises use CorelDRAW Graphics Suite extensively. Uh, here it is to enhance their PowerPoint presentations, their documents, their online graphics, uh, their social media activities, as well as hobbyists who use CorelDRAW Graphics Suites around the world. Very important when it comes to CorelDRAW is to really understand the workflow of our users and what they do uh, and how they work with CorelDRAW Graphics Suite so that we can really deliver the best solution for them uh, every time. Many of our users start from either a previous project or a customer document, so documents they receive from their customers. Sometimes they start from a blank canvas or other sources, but the two primary starting points for the graphic design process is usually from previous projects or from documents from their customers. The third one is the blank canvas, and they're going to create something from scratch. They will then do their design in CorelDRAW Graphics Suite, and depending on their industry, will do some pre-production in tools such as a rip from Roland uh, or some tools specifically for laser engraving uh, or will come from embroidery. So really working with solutions from some of our partners in order to optimize the output. And then from the same common unique design that they've created in CorelDRAW Graphics Suite, they can output to any format from the web with uh, bitmaps as well as PDFs, SVG, to print locally on their desktop printer, on a local print shop, wide format printing, going direct to garment, embroidery, vinyl cutters, engraving, digital signage, 3D printing, etc., etc. The uh, possibilities are endless. I'm really excited uh, today to announce CorelDRAW Graphics Suite, which will be officially unveiled on April 11, uh, 2017 at 9 a.m. Eastern by Corel. Historically, CorelDRAW Graphics Suite was released every other year. We had a two-year cycle for launching products, but we were getting the feedback from our users uh, that they wanted innovation faster, they wanted new features and no benefits on a much faster scale. They really wanted to continue to get more productive and more creative all along and as fast as possible. This is why with CorelDRAW Graphics Suite, we are actually uh, moving from uh, the previous version was number X8, and we're moving to a yearly numbering and a yearly release of CorelDRAW Graphics Suite. So now the new version of CorelDRAW Graphics Suite, the version after CorelDRAW Graphics Suite X8, is going to be called CorelDRAW Graphics Suite 2017. And we expect yearly releases of CorelDRAW Graphics Suite in the future. What's included in CorelDRAW Graphics Suite 2017? First and foremost, our flagship vector illustration and page layout application, CorelDRAW 2017. We also include Corel Photo Paint, which is our award-winning professional photo editing and uh, bitmap manipulation software. Corel Font Manager is also included. This is a product we introduced in the previous version in CorelDRAW Graphics Suite X8 that had tremendous feedback from our users. This, for the first time, enabled our users to find the fonts that they wanted to use in a blink of an eye, making them so much more creative than ever possible before with huge productivity. 
Corel PowerTrace enables you to convert low resolution bitmaps into vector graphics so that you can go to any output media. Corel Website Creator enables our users to create websites. And here, very important for us, this is not a tool that requires any HTML coding experience, but really is driven more by templates, drag and drop in a WYSIWYG interface. A very easy tool to use. Corel Connect enables our users to access the content that is uh, delivered with Corel Draw Graphics Suite. We include over 10,000 clip arts, 2,000 high-res photos, and 1,000 fonts with Corel Draw Graphics Suite, all available from our online servers. And Corel Capture enables the users to do screen captures on the computers. So much more is included in Corel Draw Graphics Suite, but one of the uh, things I wanted to highlight here is our five hours or over five hours of training videos. And this is very important for Corel Draw Graphics Suite users around the world, is to be able to learn the product uh, very quickly, but also on their timelines. Many of our users are not professionally trained at an art school, for example, but much more learn graphics and graphics software on the job, on the go. And we want to provide them a tool that is as intuitive as possible to use, but also provide training materials that enables them to get better and grow with the software uh, as they use it. Corel Draw Graphics Suite 2017 includes numerous new enhancements and uh, new tools that really change how users will be able to create graphics on computer, but also enables them to be highly productive and highly efficient. Instead of going through the full list of new features uh, and some of the highlights of the new features here in this slide, I'd rather show them to you a little bit more in details with Corel Draw. So let me dive into the product itself and give you more view into the features of functionality of Corel Draw Graphics Suite 2017. First and foremost, Corel Draw Graphics Suite is designed and made for Windows 10. We're also compatible with Windows 7 and Windows 8.1, so that if users still have a computer that hasn't been upgraded to Windows 10, they can use it and they can install and, and use Corel Draw Graphics Suite with it without problem. But we're really optimizing for Corel Draw Graphics Suite uh, for Windows 10. Not only that, we're actually seeing a very quick adoption from our users uh, for um, of our users of Windows 10, an accelerated move right now. We're seeing also our enterprise customers doing significant uh, testing right now for rollouts planned later this year. So we want to make sure that we are compatible with Corel Draw uh, with uh, Windows 10 for our users as they roll out to this new version. Corel Draw Graphics Suite uh, 2017 not only is compatible with Windows 10, but also supports all of the latest hardware devices that are out there. Uh, from the very high resolution 5K plus uh, ultra high resolution screens to the touch screens to the latest generation and pen, as well as the new tools such as the Surface Dial, for example. What I mean by touch screen support, I can now just pinch and zoom, pan and zoom all in one gesture which was not possible before. I can also use my pen very naturally. Uh, if I were to go into a new document, a blank document here, and start sketching on my screen or start uh, drawing things, I can also use the Microsoft Surface Dial, for example, uh, for, uh, for our users who have that tool, uh, to then create very quickly here shapes. And then I can undo with the Surface Dial, just select the undo feature and come back and turn again very quickly and very intuitively. So this enables really to use this non-dominant hand in a way that was never possible before. As I mentioned before, very important for us is the capability of being able to uh, learn and grow with the product as you go. Corel Draw Graphics Suite, for example, includes an interactive hints docker here on the side, as you can see. If I select another tool, the docker will change in real time with also access to explanation on how the feature work and more details about training videos, tutorials, etc., etc. We also include the full documentation of Corel Draw Graphics Suite as ebooks. Users can download them and install them uh, and put them on their favorite ebook reader. We have them both in Mobi and EPUB format. And a lot of training and uh, helpful videos as well, included with Corel Draw Graphics Suite. Another feature that our users love is the capability of customizing the user interface in the workspace in a way never possible before. You can really uh, create everything you want, the look and feel. I can change things, like for example, if I do not want the impact tool here, for example, I could just remove it from my toolbox and you can see it removed here in real time. I can also come in my tools, 
select options uh, and change the look and feel. For example, if I prefer to have a dark UI, I can do that very quickly. It is my choice. Uh, we are also device independent, uh, so that if we want to have a high resolution uh, UI to have bigger buttons and bigger options, this works as well very quickly. And with Corel Draw Graphics Suite, we're also including different workspaces out of, the, out of the box, such as the Adobe Illustrator workspace, which enables the application to look very similar to an Adobe Illustrator for those who are transitioning from that product. New with this release, if you used an older version of Corel Draw, if you use Corel Draw Graphics Suite X6, X7, or X8, you can export your workspaces from the older versions and import them directly into Corel Draw 2017 and Corel Photo Paint 2017. So that enables you to maintain all the customizations and effort that you had done in the past and continue working seamlessly and very easily. Another big trend that we're seeing in the industry right now, in the, in the hardware world especially, is these two-in-one devices when it comes to laptops. Machines and computers, laptops, where you can detach the screen, fold the screen over, call it the Microsoft Surface devices, or uh, the Lenovo Yoga, et cetera, et cetera. So you can really move your computer, your laptop, not only in a laptop mode, but also go into a tablet mode. And how this works is if I were to go into tablet mode of CorelDRAW here for CorelDRAW, CorelDRAW will actually adapt itself so that it is an optimized look and feel for the uh, tablet. And you can see that in real time here, my buttons just became a lot larger. Uh, I have all of the tools that I can really touch with a finger versus having them small. My menu has been reallocated at the bottom here so that this really becomes an, op an interface optimized for when you're using a tablet uh, and we can really work intuitively with the product. Just by coming back and reattaching the keyboard, unfolding the, the laptop, I will revert back into my desktop mode and very quickly can continue to work here with a keyboard and a mouse as naturally as I've always done with Corel Draw Graphics Suite. Talking about uh, stylus support and pen support, we've made significant enhancements in Corel Draw Graphics Suite in both Corel Draw and Corel Photo Paint 2017 to support the latest and most powerful features of the modern styluses. Uh, here, for example, I'm using a Wacom tablet uh, on the side here. I'm just going to create a new page. There you, I'm going to stay here and use our artistic media tool. As you can see here, I have an expression functionality in the artistic media tool. And now not only do I have pressure so that how hard do I press on my with my pen, but we also support now and understand fully the pen tilt and the pen uh, bearing so that if I rotate my pen, uh, I can have that information included here. So let me just make it perhaps a tad bigger here so you'll see it better on the screen. And now what I'm going to do, you can see here, I'm actually just, my pen is straight up. And if I start tilting my pen, you can see my tip becoming thinner. And if I start rotating my pen while my, my uh, tip is uh, tilted, you can see how I get a barrel, uh, a bearing change here. If I now press, I'm just going to create a curve, press lightly, press hard, do a thin, and something like that. You can very quickly create advanced calligraphy effects like that that gives you full expression of the design. Not only that, but this is very unique in Corel Draw is that we actually maintain this information, this pressure, this tilt, this bearing rotation, etc. We maintain that with the curve that you created, which means if later on you want to come and do some node editing, change things around a little bit, you will still have all those pressure effects that you initiated before and that will remain. This is very unique in Corel Draw compared to other vector applications where they basically just create a, an outline for you and then you can go and edit that. But here we're really maintaining this whole uh, pressure and experience effect that you can get from Corel Draw from using a pen that supports um, tilt, bearing and rotation. Some other of our tools here that have uh, also all of these features turned on. Let me just go to the next page here. We can just pick one of the tools. For example, our twirl tool has also uh, pressure sensitivity available. If I pr press slightly, I take this object and press slightly, you can see I do some effects. If I press hard, it's going to do much stronger effects. So you can really edit things in a way that was not easily done before. All of our tools, like the smudge tool, for example, have also all of the advanced tilt uh, and uh, bearing rotations available built in. One of the features we introduced with uh, Corel Draw X8 and that our users really love and we've continued to optimize the, the functionality of it is our knife tool. 
So if I take an object here, for example, this um, this logo here, this um, this uh, animal here, this uh, cat feline here, I can select our knife tool, and not only can I say I would like to create a, a cut this in two pieces, but I could, for example, say I would like to overlap this, which means if I'm, for example, preparing a graphic for a, for a, um, a car wrap and I want to do the front and the back door, I can very quickly cut this in two pieces that overlap so that I can then print this very easily uh, in two parts, and you can see see here the overlap now that some pieces are actually on both sides so that I print this I can very quickly create my front and door handle in a, my doors uh, in a very seamless way tons more in Corel draw graphics suite but in the interest of time let me go forward and show you a few of the other amazing things that we've introduced in Corel draw I talked earlier about photo paint and uh, the very powerful and advanced photo editing application if I just select an image that I have in Corel Draw, I can click on Edit Bitmap, and this is going to start Corel Photo Paint for me. Here it comes. One of the important things for our users is always the fact that Corel Photo Paint layout and uh, feeling and, and uh, way of working with it is very similar to a Corel Draw, so that I can very quickly work back between Corel Draw and Corel Photo Paint and feel at home all the time. In Corel Photo Paint, you can also customize your workspace if you want to have a look and feel that is more like an Adobe Photoshop. Just click on it, and you can see that the tools have reorganized. The Most of the shortcut keys are actually reorganized as well. If you prefer to have a dark UI for, um, for Photo Paint, for example, you can do that as well. Just like in Corel Draw, everything is customizable for you. We have full non-destructive editing, so I could create lenses and effects if I wanted to add a grayscale. Uh, effect here and I can then turn it on and turn it off but we also have as I mentioned before added a lot of the uh, pen support into Corel Photo Paint and here not only I can choose my brush that I want uh, choose whichever I want and then make sure I have turned on all of the uh, pen features like pressure like a uh, tilt and bearing and in Photo Paint not only that but we also support the, the pen rotation if you have a Wacom 6D pen for example you can use this here no problem at all and it works great so if I come into Corel Draw perhaps let's make the nib a little bit bigger I can now my brush quick to draw for example I'm going to make this a little bit bigger here so you can see as well my pen getting very thin Sorry, I'm going to just work on this layer here. I can, you can see my pen here. If I tilt it, if I rotate, I can create some very unique effects. Pressure is supported, etc. And once I'm done editing my image, I just say yes, save it, and it will send it back to Corel Draw. So as I close Photo Paint, all my changes are saved directly in my graphic that I'm working on. As I mentioned earlier, it is very important for us to provide the Corel Draw in, to Corel Draw Graphics Suite users tools that enable them to be as productive as possible and as creative as possible. Uh, really, productivity, while it's a word that the graphics industry doesn't like to use a lot, it is very important for Corel Draw users. Um, there, most of the cases, they are not paid by the hours of drawing graphics in the software, they're paid by the job. And the sooner they can their get their job done, the better it is for them. So here's an example of one tool that we went back to the drawing board and really rethought everything uh, that this tool stands for in order to make it as intuitive and as, as efficient as possible. Here's a screenshot of our node editing feature in Corel Draw Graphics Suite X8. Let me just zoom in so you can perhaps see it better here you will see that we have here a selected node, and here is the node handles that are visible there. Very hard to see, especially on the complex background. So what happened in the past is that users were actually putting the background in a separate layer, hiding that layer, doing their changes, showing the layer again, and then continuing to work that way. With Curl Draw Graphics Suite 2017, we've completely evolved our node editing capability. And if I come here into our tools options, I now have full control over the node editing features of the product. I can, for example, say I don't want small size nodes, but I'd like large ones. I can change the node shape for cusp, smooth, and symmetrical. Let's say I'll keep those, but I'll have a symmetrical. And then I also have the option to change the color scheme. Let's say that I actually need perhaps a, a better yellow is going to be more visible in my graphic. And for a secondary color, I'll take a green. 
And here you can see that automatically this has changed for me and I have a really big handle visible very easily to take to control and to manage so I can now very quickly make my changes uh, this way. I can take a point here, add a symmetrical uh, point here for example and you can see how the, the uh, graphical element visually indicates what it is very easily, very intuitively. As I said before, I have full control over my um, settings so if I prefer smaller ones I can do that here and continue to uh, work and edit these graphics very naturally. So just zoom in a little bit and I have all the information there. This becomes a very very powerful tool and our beta testers are providing tremendous feedback about this which enables them to be really precise and productive in a very fast way. Another tool that we introduced with uh, Corel Draw Graphics Suite uh, X8 and we've continued to enhance and Im improve with uh, every update since then is our font manager. We know that our users and Corel Draw Graphics Suite users have thousands of fonts, sometimes tens of thousands of fonts uh, on folders on their system, but it's always very hard to find the fonts you want to use in a specific design. So here I have, for example, 2,598 fonts installed. The one in greens, the one flag greens, means they're installed in my Windows folder versus the one in yellows means they're not available to Windows applications, they're not on the Windows folder, but Corel Font Manager knows about them because I indexed the folder that is in there. So I just picked here, add a folder, went to that location, for example, I downloaded a collection of Google fonts and I just index that folder so I have them available here. And then I can really come in and start filtering. So for example, I only want to see script fonts. Uh, if I were to look for a specific character set, uh, I want to see only script fonts that have Japanese characters included, for example, or any other language. I can very quickly filter by that. I have the capability of previewing all the fonts and everything that comes with it uh, and the specific, specific characters that I want to see. I can make things bigger. I could choose to display my uh, text with a specific um, to string so I can actually see the font in action before I choose it. Let's say I'd like to use this one. I'm just going to drag and drop it into my favorites so that I have it available. And then when I come back to Corel Draw, if that font is installed or not on Windows, I don't need to worry about that. I can just come here and select my um, filter. Let's say I want to just show my favorites collection. I'm going to take this one and I've made the change here very quickly. So I really have this interactive and intuitive way of accessing the thousands of fonts I could have on my system in a very easy and natural way. This has enabled our users to really find new creative ways of expressing their fonts and their topography that was not possible before. There is so much more in Corel Draw Graphics Suite uh, that I could take a few more hours going into every detail. I've been using here the multi-page layout functionality in Corel Draw Graphics Suite, so going from page to page. Corel Draw supports over 999 pages, so you can really create brochures, flyers with even and odd pages and everything you want to do straight out of Corel Draw Graphics Suite. No need for an extra desktop publishing application. Uh, you can also do power clips, which is really enabling objects within objects what is called color harmonies, so making sure the colors work well together, and color management uh, and many of their advanced features. One example in color management, uh, if you're using a mixed environment that has multiple different graphics application, Adobe uh, and Corel Draw, for example, uh, you can really set up Corel Draw as long as you have the Adobe color management system installed on the system. You can tell Corel Draw to use that color management system, and therefore you will have perfect color consistency between both uh, uh, suites of applications. Very important for us as well is compatibility when it comes to file format. Corel Draw Graphics Suite is recognized as the most compatible graphics package in the market with over 100 import-export filters. We really support any file format our users uh, get or want to use from the most, uh, from the most used and uh, um, standardized one like uh, PDF, uh, EPS, uh, SWG, uh, as well as uh, PDS, uh, PDF, PSD and AI, for example, um, to more obscure ones uh, that are available in there uh, and that are still used by some users or have still old file formats they want to use. So really be able to import, export everything from old formats to new ones is very important for CorelDraw Graphics Suite users. 
In addition to all of those functionalities, Corel Draw Graphics Suite comes with a lot more. Uh, we have additional tools, additional functionalities available for our users through what we call a Get More Docker. So in there, you can either get new addition, new add-ons, new functionality for Corel Draw Graphics Suite, uh, uh, purchase new fonts. Some of them, some of these tools will be for free. Some of them will have a fee. Um, for example, PhotoZoom Pro is a tool that is available at no extra charge for CorelDRAW Graphics Suite customers, uh, and that enables you to take a low resolution photo and upsample it. That's also where you get Website Creator. And then we have some specific tools uh, that are available there. I'm just going to use one, create a new page. Take this image here, and let's me uh, let's open the. Uh, let me open uh, that new tool here that I want to use, which is called Pointalyzer. Pointalyzer is really a, a, a fantastic tool to create effects that are very difficult to do normally. So if I take my Pointalyzer tool here, I would like to recreate a, a vector version of this photo with points of a specific size and colors. Let me just click on Apply and you'll see what I mean. And here I've actually created a, a new version of this, taking the background image and convert it in vector. This is one thing, but I could also take just some text. I'm going to make it a little bit bolder here, uh, and I'm going to convert this to curve. So I've created actually an object now, and I have the capability of selecting custom, select my object. I'm just going to take my, my text here, and I'm going to select my image and apply it. So now I can really create anything with a company logo, for example, or create effects here, just finishing the calculation. And you can see how the C has been reapplied all the way through. This by hand would take days to do, and it is done very quickly and very easily with CorelDRAW Graphics Suite 2017. Tons more features are available as an add-on and uh, great value for our users as well. Uh, I just want to highlight one here. We have another one, Project Timer, for example, to track uh, the time spent in the application if you need to do that, and then you export that into a timesheet uh, software, for example, uh, if that's what you need. But there's one more thing I want to talk to you about today, uh, which is something that we've been working very hard here at Corel uh, for quite a little while now, uh, and that we're finally uh, ready at a point from a technology perspective and from a functionality perspective that we're really ready now to unleash it to the world. When you look at graphic software design, the basic premises that develop have developed graphic software design and how graphic designers use software today to create vector graphics is still based on technology and thinking that was developed 20, 30 years ago with mathematical formulas. When a graphic designer thinks about graphics, when they think about creating vector graphics on a computer, they think mathematics, they think Bezier curves, B splines, polylines, etc. They're not simply creating, they're not simply enjoying the same way the creation process on a computer in the same way as they would on pen and paper. And you actually see it today still, many and the majority of the graphic designers will start with pen and paper for their sketching uh, and will create that on a on a piece of paper, then scan it in, and trace it on top into final vector art afterwards. And this is a very lengthy and complex process. With CrawlDraw 2017, we're really excited to introduce a brand new tool which we call LiveSketch. And that really enables you to create vector design in a solution in a way that is as intuitive as pen and paper. This is really a tool that enables you for the first time to get the technology to disappear and have as much fun uh, on a computer, on a computer screen, as you would have on, um, on pen and paper. This is a brand new tool that we've been developing for quite a while here at Corel, as I said, uh, that leverages the latest developments in hardware as well as artificial intelligence. This is a neural network, neural network tool based uh, tool solution that enables you really to create very naturally. Let me show you instead of talking about it because it'll, it'll make a lot more sense just in a second by seeing it. Perhaps I can just very quickly come in my uh, nodes and just reset the colors so you'll see them better. There we go. So what I'm going to do now is just show you first how naturally, how traditional node editing would have happened. If I want to convert these objects into a curve, for example, this, these uh, rectangles uh, welded together into a curve, I would add a node here, start moving it, perhaps start pulling it around. Uh, rotating this, rotating that, I can take this as well. I can take poles here as well, so I could create a new curve here. 
this, I can perhaps make it more visible like that. So this is how a vector graphic designer would actually work on his design throughout the process and really start editing curves and nodes and mathematical formulas. Let me just undo all this and come into the new tool called Live Sketch. I'm going to increase this a little. I'll come back into the second and explaining those different things. But I'm just going to activate a few things here. Here's Live Sketch in action. I've got my pen here, uh, and I'm just going to come over my curve and start sketching, like I would with a pencil. And you can see that in real time, Corel Draw is actually understanding what I'm trying to do, and is actually recreating a new curve for me. Let me just create something like this. I can pull the things up here, and you can see the blue lines are actually the sketches I've done. Uh, and I can actually just then say, okay, that's pretty good. Or I could come and continue to edit this and bring it further up here, for example. And I want to create a very unique effect very quickly here. I still have full access to my node editing. If I wanted to change everything again, I can do that as well. But more naturally, I can really come into Corel Draw and start editing things uh, very naturally with this new live sketch tool. Simply start sketching. Grab the line here and start sketching as naturally as I would on a computer uh, on pen and paper before. There we go, and that. And this is really, as I said before, here we have a neural network running, so artificial intelligence running in the back in order for us to really understand the design intent of the user. When you look at graphic designers, they have three primary ways of sketching, uh, and they have three different styles depending on the graphic designers. Each of them will have their preferred style. One of them is called, uh, it's, an, it's a technical term, it's called chicken scratches. So I'm just going to disable the preview feature here and show you. So it's about just doing small lines like this, and I'm going to create a new curve. So let's show the preview here. I can now just come in and change it very quickly and create new curves here in just a click. Another one is more is what is called folded lines. So I'm just coming back and forth like this, and then I'm just going to smooth it up a little bit, and here we go. I've got my new curve. And the final one is more broad strokes, so I can just come in and change it like this. And then I can just very quickly smooth things up here where I want them to be smoother if I wanted to. And there's my new curve. So the, the engine, the neural network that is behind the live sketch tool really understands the graphic design process and the graphic designers so that they can, for the very first time on a computer, sketch as naturally on a computer as they would with pen and paper. A few of the features we have here, just to go through this tool, I can here, in this case, uh, this option enables me to either grab the line or not. So if I want to include the curve, this will create one object in one curve. This is the uh, smoothness level. So I'm just going to leave this one here and select this one on. So I can actually grab my line here, my, my leaf uh, center here. And, and I'm just going to grab this and start sketching. And you can see I can take it out, make it perhaps a little longer, pull it up a little bit. You pull it this way, bring it down a little bit here, just press enter until I'm happy. If I disable this, I can come very close and start creating a new line, for example. Let's create another line from here. I can very quickly create additional shapes here and change everything I want in a very creative way. Again, just very naturally, as you would on pen and paper, never possible before, unique in Corel Draw Graphics Suite. We actually have a, a patent on this uh, technology here, uh, as it is so unique uh, in Corel Draw, that really enables you to create graphics in a way never before. So let me show you a little bit what uh, uh, what can be done with Corel uh, with live sketching Corel Draw 2017. This design here, this piece of art, was created from the ground up using only one tool, Live Sketch. So here I'm going to zoom in just a little bit. Let me come in a bit here, and I'll show you. Here I'm almost there. Let's make it as big as I want, and then I can take my live sketch tool. Let me just grab this curve here. Again, I can just start editing this, change it, make it more rounded here, for example, if I wanted to. Press Enter, and here's my new curve. I can change things very quickly, or I could grab this uh, line here. Perhaps change it a little bit down. There we go. Press Enter. And here's my new curve that has been done very quickly. So this is how easy and how interactive it is to create uh, new graphics and create uh, graphics and vector graphics with Live Sketch and Corel Draw. The amazing part is when you give the Live Sketch tool to a graphic designer for the first time, it will take them about two to three minutes to let go of their training in mathematics. 
they're learned and they've taught to create vector curves on a computer and therefore they will the first few minutes try to go through the nodes they want to go through and suddenly they let go and you can see their eyes open and really enjoy the creative process on a computer like never before. A few more words about CorelDRAW Graphics Suite um, and uh, the options that are available for, for customers around the world to purchase this product. We strongly believe in providing our users the choice. Uh, we have both available perpetual licenses and subscriptions so that we're not forcing users to go down the subscription path if they don't want to. We have full versions as well as upgrade versions. Uh, users can upgrade from any version of CorelDRAW Graphics Suite uh, out there that they own, uh, except uh, Academic NFR and OEM. So if, our, if a year customer already owns an older version of CorelDRAW Graphics Suite, they can upgrade to the latest version of, uh, of CorelDRAW Graphics Suite 2017. We also have volume license and academic licenses options available, including maintenance um, and additional uh, options available for our large uh, customer, large enterprise customers. For those who prefer to rent their software, we definitely offer that option. Uh, we have yearly options. We do have volume license subscriptions available uh, from, from Corel and from our channel partners. Uh, so really everything is available for our users there for them to choose the best option they want. System requirements, uh, CorelDRAW Graphics Suite uh, 2017 is designed for Windows 7, 8.1 and optimized for Windows 10. But else the system requirements are still fairly low. I would recommend a little bit more than two gigs These are uh, of RAM. These are minimum system requirements, but any computer that uh, customers have these days that is a few years old will work perfectly well with CorelDRAW Graphics Suite 2017. There is also no internet connection required in order to use the software. You just need to authenticate your product once and then you can use it offline if you prefer to do so. CorelDRAW Graphics Suite uh, 2017 will be available on April uh, 11th uh, in uh, 14 languages around the world. Uh, it includes everything you need and is a perfect and fantastic tool for confidence and versatility in visual communication. It has a perfect tools to learn quickly, to discover new features, and to be able to create amazing pieces of art. The new Live Sketch tool is an amazing technology that is really truly unique to CorelDRAW Graphics Suite and that enables users to create amazing uh, things. We're really excited about this new release and can't wait to uh, get it in the hand of our users in the next few days. Thank you very much for your time today and uh, I'm looking forward uh, to seeing all the feedbacks from the users and the press around the world in the next few weeks.